What up, this is Benji, back with another tutorial. I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration on how I made this beat within Geist. I did the beat just as with Geist as a standalone, but I'm about to drop in Ableton so I can do like some mixing, some further things. The sample comes from a loop that I've made for uh, a long time ago for Native Instruments, not that long ago, but it was a minute ago I made this, but they, not, they didn't end up using this loop. So that's why I'm demonstrating on to y'all how I use the loop and the way that I process it. I'm about to show y'all how to use modulations. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to grab my loop, which is right here. All right, that's the loop. Then I'm going to go ahead and slice it up. Now, I don't, I don't want to use uh, the slices in the way that they got it. All right, so I just want the audio. I don't want the pattern. I'm gonna do something different with the pattern. All right, so here's the pattern I came up with. Um, really, fairly simple. I'll play it for y'all so y'all can hear it. All right, so that's what it sounds like now. Now it's still not where it needs to be. I time stretch it to be shorter, so actually like compressing it. So I can press the loop to about about 36 so we have this now okay we still not there next thing I did I affected the tuning of it so uh, I turned it down three semitones and we have this so that's basically how the loop sounds now that's cool and everything that's cool but we want to take it a step further when when, when, when we uh, producing, all right? I'm using modulations, all right? So first thing I want to do is turn on my filter. I'm only affecting the pad that I'm actually selected. That's that's selected, right? Which is this one. Uh, and the transmods are actually what is in the slots. Now, the slots can be affected by everything not just the actual pad that's selected uh, i affected the frequency a little bit which is cutting off or giving a eighth note pulse which with a little bit of phase into it as you can see is moving right when you have this selected the ring around whichever the blue ring is whatever selected is that's what that's going to affect all right, so you have this blue ring right here, and this blue ring represents this modulation or whatever whatever slot you are actually selected on. So since I'm selected on my modulation, morphin LFO modulation, whatever, this is what is active. So now what I do is I just, and it's just on one pad because I don't have this selected at all. I don't have all pads selected. So it's just gonna affect this one pad right here. Alright, so I just turn up the turn up the modulation a little bit as you can see. As you can hear. Let me just turn it up a lot so you can hear. So that's what that morphin LFO is doing to this sound. So next thing I want to do is go to this one. And this is the that is that one. So I want to affect that one a little bit as well. So I'm going to go to the out ring, outer ring and on the filter and just turn that up too. See, now, now it has a little difference to it. And that's all good. I, I like the sound of that. See, this is where you're getting into making the beat your own. Just little stuff like that, you know? The devil's in the details, or the angels are in the details, right? I'm gonna use uh, modulation in slot two to do a little bit of cutoff within the sound, all of the sounds, since I have all the pads selected. It's just like having a, a side chain, right?
see how it's like clean it's clean it up a little bit all right so now that we got that so next thing i want to do is i want to add like a little reverb to it i'm feeling that that gap up again all right now I'll turn it back down and fill out the space so the sin has a little delay on it which is delay is going to something as, else as well and there you have it you have your sound of me using modulation and in, in I'm using the modulation in a subtle way it's not it's not crazy it's not crazy crazy but it can get crazy I want to I want to try to hear the drums I already have the drums made everything is already set to go and only thing I really got to do now is just record it in is right now it's set to monitor in that way y'all can see how everything is laid out all right I'm just gonna play it for I'm just gonna play it for y'all for real quick <laughs> I could just go ahead and record everything in. So what I do is I set them all to arm, is all in, and I just hit record and it records in. Wait, one thing I should do, let me do that again, is this is a recreation. And this is the actual real creation of the sample. So the reason why I wasn't recording because this is this is uh, actually going to the output. So let me do that again. So that's all recorded. Now I can close out a guys. Highlight everything, turn it into auto. That way it's listening from Ableton instead of the guys uh plugin. I can even turn it off. And here's my loop. <laughs> And that's how I use Geist with modulation, with a little bit of modulation and showing y'all how I would just record it all in. Uh, subscribe, man. I uh, Thank y'all for tuning in to what I'm doing. And subscribe to the channel. There'll be more tutorials on Geist, Ableton, and Studio One Three, which is which what is what I use to actually record vocals and everything. Um, so I'll show y'all how I make beats inside of Studio One as well as Ableton with Geis. Geis is a phenomenal program, and I hope y'all stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, make comments, feedback on what I could do better, and everything, all right? Peace.